So this interview is particularly special to us here at Studio 327 as we are speaking with Enrichie, singer, songwriter, actor, filmmaker, videographer, and editor here at Studio 327. Mm-hmm. Also known as Jaime Maurice. <laughs> For those of you who remember that. Uh, welcome, welcome to the Morning SKN. Wow, you know, I love the studio setup. I've never been here before. It's yeah, first time ever, right? Amazing. He's first right. time first ever. Time as first time is Anne Ritchie. The as Anne last Ritchie. time he was an impersonator of you. <laughs> We got lots of names for you, King Cut yes. included. But anyway, we want to get the conversation started. Uh, talking about your royalty album, uh, how many songs are on it, and which is the most popular? Um, well, royalty it has eight tracks. I'm actually hold on. <laughs> I don't know how much I has. No, it has on eight tracks. Yeah, royalty has eight tracks, and my most popular one. It's actually a fight between. I checked this morning. It's between um vent or shut up and mm. both of them sound very angry but the two of them are tonally the, on surface value they sound like the same type of hat hitting bass track mm. but um message wise they're completely two different things mm. so those are two of the most popular ones there mm-hmm. well, congratulations on the album i mean seriously royalty yeah i know um, it's crazy it has right now twenty-four thousand streams on spotify wow. look at you and I have not didn't have the time to add up the YouTube views, but Spotify and Apple Music, I, I, I'm still shocked to this day. That's all I can say, really. Do you see Anne Richie's getting rich? Richie Rich? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us what, it, what is the process like writing one of your songs? Uh, you could either go from I'm bored and I just sit down in my head and I say one line. So, for example... There's a show I like called Death Note. Quick summary, someone writes in a book, you die. It's a lot more complicated than that, but I know rappers like to do braggadocious things as if your pen is unmatched. So I, I thought about the main character's name is Light. As I was thinking about it, Sean, I said, wait. Um, brother, no, try to make a four out of friend. but I know I'll make him four with a pen. Everybody see the light when I write, so then when people die, mm. since a body's dropping until I run out of lead, because people die with bullets with lead. I don't shoot people yeah. right away, but the only thing I shoot is on movies and films. Oh, so, but nice. that's, that's kind of how it goes. Or I could actually be in a thought process, like some songs took me, there was this one when I was, I went in a kind of retirement stagnant thing for two whole years and I didn't you, drop anything. You, you retired already. That shows the age. <laughs> and, and, um, <laughs> It took me uh, seven months mm-hmm. to write a chorus of a song. It's a very simple chorus. I just wanted to have something that sounded different. Guess what? Mm-hmm. I did not drop it. That was in 2020. I didn't drop it, and I dropped it in 2021 because everyone was like, no, you always with your group chat. Go, um, go make a channel for yourself. Drop mm-hmm. your own music. And I'm like, I don't have music. And then um, people exposed my hard drive full of unreleased songs. Mm-hmm. So I, I had to, Look had at to that. put it out there. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. So how do you know when your song is ready? There's a baker's reference that we can use. You know, you're baking different things. You're looking into the oven. A baker just knows when it's time to release. How do you know? Um, hard question because I don't. Mm, uh, okay. Like speaking on royalty, then the, the most popular song, the day before the album dropped, I was considering deleting it because mm. I was like, I'm not feeling the intensity. I'm not feeling this at all. Other tracks. I don't usually go into tracks like, oh, this is a hit. It's a hit for sure. I think that's kind of bragging. Mm-hmm. And I, when I see other artists do it, I'm not a, much of a fan of it. I get you've got to be confident in your work. But only after the track is out, I'd I be listening. And I'm like, whoa, I really did that. You did that. Certain tracks, like um, Mufasa and so on, I'm like, this one, this is, this is something special. This is going to have people feeling a type of way. But the majority of the time, I'm not, I'm not so sure. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. That's good energy to go with, though, because it kind yeah. of keeps you grounded, but also it gives you the, the butterflies. I think that make you want to do better each time. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. So, how long did it take to finish the album? Did you? I think you said seven months. Uh, no. No, okay. it took three and a half years. Why? Because the album changed oh. eight times. Oh, okay. With eight oh. different songs, I'm the type of person who wants to have a perfect thing, meticulous. Because then. An EP was just, just a collection of songs. Mm-hmm. A mixtape, same thing. An album is my, my first personal body okay. of work. I didn't know what I wanted to tell. I was like, am I just going to go on there and rap? Am I going to be personal? Mm-hmm. Can I do both? 
am I good enough for it? That's why I took the entire break. And it went from background check to um, give me my respect. And I just, when I was feeling myself, I was like, you know, Naeem, if you say you're a king, you got to act like one. So then that's how royalty came I love out. It. And it dropped uh, seven days after my birthday. So Lovely. it's a special thing for me. Great birthday present nice. to yourself. Indeed, too. yes. All right, so as we go to this break, can you give us a line from one of your favorite songs off the album? Mm, you know, it's a morning show. I don't think so. I love that. that. I don't like that. Uh, one of my favorite. Okay, it's from a. Uh, it's from Shut Up, and it's um, do do do. You are better retiring. Crown, I desire it. That's when I know that I made it. You fakers can vacate the throne. I awaited. I feel so elated. He say the head he get decapitated. Cause they wonder how he that cold. They're trying to speak, make this ninja I go. And then I spin, I'ma switch that flow. Don't even speak when I'm in my zone. I shake the earth, I change the air. I spit the flame, the drip on tame. I move the ink, stop that. You keep saying you're the king, you're not that. I say what up, you get cut up. You were never on the top, so kindly shut up. I don't say kindly in the actual song. <laughs> I'll do music for you all. Yeah. Oh, man. There's one other thing that I want you to do for me before we go to this. Actually, no, we... Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we sp- we're supposed to have a video. Uh-huh. I, think lo- I think, do we have time for the video? We do. Okay, let's load the video now. Now, which video is this? Is it, is it my, my, my past? <laughs> <laughs> the evolution of Enrichie. Ooh. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I sit back and body with shadows like Shikamaru. I'm so cool. Cards out, they laid and they paid the price of life. But I hear the horn sound like the price is right. Oh, uh, I'm smile at Donatello. Honestly, I'm a rough fellow. Make your whip smoke more than the yacht. It's a black and yellow. I'm trying to be better. I'm just trying to, trying to be better. I won't quit. I'll never say never. I know what I'm worth. Waiting from the school and not giving up. Oh. Skip you, skip you, you're cool. Uh, once you pull my trunk card, same kids, and not under many colors. We two with sisters and brothers. We love we love each other. And I don't know why on the come up. Delicious who for the stomach. A place to go in the summer. Talking about the summer. And- Sat down with the homies, had a pair review Compared to you, I know that I am the truth I want respect, I know because it's overdue New heights, I grew new goals, now it's overdue You're done, you're screwed you Make him lock jaw, flowing non-stop Fill his with dread, make him feel like a rock star Blood clot, heart stop, please call a doctor King of the game, call me Mufasa Rich Just started talking, daddy's always watching Don't chill, why? Better run right in the eye Bullseye, so ill-eyed, caught him with a surprise Hey Siri, can you play M-U-F-A-S-A? By Enrichie. Yeah, yeah, what? Just when I show up, think I'm gonna blow up. I know that I be the studious one of this. When I pull up and you better go away, cause I'm not gonna hit him, I send him away. Man, I be stopping like that, so you better spin a decay. When I pull up on a set enough, you better better obey. Tell him, okay, I ain't got time to hang with the face. Mess with a six, know where to stay. Can Richie a bar to hell with a bell? And we are back getting rich or enriching ourselves with our very own enriching. Uh-huh. Uh, Just like that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the reactions. Thank you. Oh, my rap don't work. I try. I that try. That legacy I try. is coming oh this way. God. Jumped. Okay. Oh my All god. Right. We're so, fighting. We're fighting. We're fighting. <laughs> you see what you see what you caused. <laughs> so enriching, can you tell us some of the roles you have played throughout your acting career? Oh, oh boy. Uh, I first started. Okay. This is the one that most people know mm-hmm. was my first play that I wrote and I performed it. I should have given you pictures for that now, but it was a character named Noah. Then after that, I did stuff with New Age Productions with Miss Isaac. I played um, this dude named Kim. I played this unnamed character in Open Door Conversations. That has been my hardest role to date mm-hmm. because um, she went, she actually said it when she was here. The guy who um commits suicide. Mm-hmm. You know, not child friendly, but uh, that was my character, okay. and it putting myself through all the emotions of anger. Funny story, real quick. Um, I always throw a tantrum in that show, right? Mm-hmm. And there's a mirror. I'm looking at my reflection, so I pick up the chair every night and I fling it every night, and it's fine. But the last night, I was so into it, the emotions were so. I picked up the chair and I flung it, and it went straight into the mirror and broke. It was everybody. I almost had a heart attack. I kept a character though, oh. but that was scary. And then I tried to make a web series called Apple Forbidden Fruit. It's, I'm not having given up on it. I will come back to it later. Thanks and that's why I played the main villain. And lastly, I am the main 
lead in uh, this new movie that is actually going a lot smoother named Jason. So that's where I am. Mm. You know. I have a follow-up question to that. When did you realize you had all these talents? How early did you start exploring them? Uh, when I was five, I made my first movie with uh, toys, like stop motion. Mm -hmm. I've always been into film. Oh, that's um, a great guy, Ajani Davis. He's helped me out so much, and I love his creativity. Also, other people, you know, um, Lemuel Shiverton, I have to shout him out, great people. And um, Javid, the guy in the red cap, he and I have grown up together, and okay. since then, he, we've created music. He's the reason that we both do music. Um, we both do film, mm -hmm. and he's, we call ourselves like the dynamic duo. He's mm -hmm. actually the co-leader of my group, Six Zones okay. and everything. Is so, that Anthony running in the No, 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 that's not Anthony. <laughs> Anthony was hiding in a bush. Uh, and a, a spider jumped on him at that point, and that was funny. But he, he wasn't even running. I would have loved to have been there to see oh, the come things out of the bush. that come out on live television. <laughs> Stories that are told. <laughs> I gotta say, when you mentioned that you're playing a villain, I'm eager to see that because you're such a cool guy. You're such a nice guy. I want to see you in character being something other than how you are. Is that particularly challenging for you or not? Oh, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes. It's challenging in the fact that you would think that name, you're the director, producer, writer, composer, you should know the script back to front. Mm -hmm. And every time we felt, I have the most bloopers out of every single person, especially when I was the villain, because I wanted to lower my voice and have it really deep and be serious. And I'd always talk like this. And you have anything important to say before I plant my knuckle in your face? <laughs> and then everyone would watch me with their serious faces and I would laugh. I laugh all the time. I'm like, yo, fellas, I can't do this, you know? And they were like, Naeem, we need to film. Next thing you know, one hour shoot turns to seven hours and we're filming long scenes and I'm laughing through all of it. Oh, man. So when I write my characters, I don't want them to be just me, you mm -hmm. know? Because I think that's too easy. If I go okay. on and do things, I'm either extremely exaggerated. I've never played a dumb person before. No, no not like a slow person. I've never actually played that. Miss Isaac has cast me in a role where it was literally just me okay. on the stage. And I was like, and I was up there laughing so many times. Oh my God. <laughs> I just put it in my character, but um, playing a villain mm -hmm. is fun. It's very fun. You're giving me Morgan Freeman vibes with the God accent. Yes. Right? The, Ooh, the inside, the inside. I hmm. love it. So is it difficult being a singer, songwriter, actor, producer? Yes. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. When I started making my um, films, I was like, man, I need a soundtrack. I can compose. Mm. And next thing you know, um, I was waking up. I was on a call with somebody. We fell asleep. And she was like, hey, when are you waking up? It's four in the morning. I was like, I finally have the melody to that song I've been working on. And I'm composing it. I kid you not. 4.30. I hate it. Deleted the entire thing. 4.45. Wait, wait, wait. And... I would tell myself, I'll be on this song for like an hour and I would go into nighttime working on these. I, I've created an album, of, it's over an hour of original composed music. Mm -hmm. And I like different, um, what's it called, genres. So my music isn't just in one genre. So I don't just have a jazz song. If it, I have a song that is jazz fused with bossa nova, fused with hip hop and classical music all in one song, which mm -hmm. sounds terrible if you put them together, but I, I love how it works. I have soca, dance hall, and um, slow jazz all in one mm, song. Mm. So, and I don't switch the tempo, that's the thing. I, I just, mm. I, I like that. Writing, writer's block is a pain. I have these books and I've written three in the series. And mm, uh, the third book is, support, is ongoing. It's, mm -hmm. it's a type of way that it's continuous so viewers can get updates on it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like one long book when it's out. The third book has been ongoing for four years now. And people are like, wow, man. The story is good. I'm like, no, you're reading a chapter I wrote three years ago because I, ha I like to write in advance, so I just upload, mm -hmm. and I've been stuck. And I've been stuck, and I've been stuck, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, because I don't make up things. I don't plan ahead. Mm -hmm. Even though I say I write in advance, I sit on the laptop, I write one sentence, which leads into the next, which leads into the next, and sometimes I don't reread the chapter. So there's a lot of continuity errors, and I have to go back oh, and fix it. Right. Yeah. That's how I do it okay. to save time for me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's your writing. We have a clip of yes, a looking sneak forward peek to this of the movie that you're currently working on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see it.
Yes, mm. I'm excited too. In my villain love. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, you didn't get the rap. You didn't okay. get the villain voice. So then, so, so, so that means I won't get hired as one of Naim's character because my villain laugh is not too villainy. <laughs> and Richie. <laughs> All right, so we're waiting for that clip. So how'd you do it? Huh? One shot to the head, stab him. You take the explosives? Uh, well... No. You didn't take the explosives, did you? Change your clothes. Don't you think you're quite bloody? <laughs> yes. Um, no spoilers, but... Uh, my character does get beat up a lot in this film. But I lot, don't see you getting beat up, I see you beating up. Oh yeah, because um, I can't show that. Wait, but it's not my segment. <laughs> I can't look it back up in my segment. I can't do that to myself. Uh, huh. but I do take uh, severe beatings. I have been tossed in a tree, body slammed, thrown through a door. Um, other films have been play drowned. Uh, drag through sand. Don't get sand in your hair, people. Especially if you're going to put it like this. Just poof, 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 poof. I had the entire beach on my balcony. Don't do that. But <laughs> that film is coming out. It's called CSO, which stands for Caribbean Special Operatives. Mm -hmm. And it's Poland. So CSO Power Trip. And hopefully, it can air on Studio 327. Mm, okay. So Good stuff. I'm really excited. Maybe I'll come back and you guys get more than just that 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Yes, that'd be great. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll hopefully cut it short because I needed you guys to know. I, there's a lot more, but we'll hopefully cut it short. Okay. Teaser. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's good to have you on this side of the camera. Oh, indeed. And I'm not a wig. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and point. a purple suit looking like um, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Yeah. This is Anne Richie, okay? He's in character. Yes. Hey, a pleasure, man. You know, indeed. looking forward to the next time we get to do this. Mm. You know, we're rooting for you all the way through. Yeah. Right.